Hey everybody, it's Joelle. Um, how are you? It's been a little while since I posted a video. I actually recorded a video on 4th of July, but I'm not gonna post it. I'm eating a salad right now, like a big, huge salad. I didn't have very much produce, so um, I just used like what I had, which was like cabbage, romaine, um, onion, uh, what's it called? Pepitas, what are they called? Pumpkin seeds, um, hemp seeds, mm. oh, chia seeds. <laughs> I have a lot of superfoods always on here. Um, yeah, I'm not going to post a video that I filmed on 4th of July because it was only like eight minutes long and like I was so low energy and like I was just really tired and I basically said nothing in it. So, you know, I'm getting old, you guys. Look at my skin. It's like old. Well. I like never wear foundation anymore. Do y'all wear foundation? I just wear it like every day, but I have no makeup on. Oh, I forgot these croutons in here. I really like these. I think I showed these on a previous video. They're made from quinoa. They're good. Yeah, so I'm having a pretty good day. I'm on my lunch break. Mm. Honestly, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> let me tell you what happened. On 4th of July, I made a huge feast, okay? I made a four-course meal. A four-course Indian inspired meal. I made chana masala. I made corn pakora, like sweet corn pakora, but it was actually spicy. Well, I'll get to that in a second. I made alu matar and I made gluten free, vegan, non. All that was vegan and gluten free. It took me all day and I was planning on that. I was like, I'm just gonna cook today and chill. Whatever, cause last, cause it's like kind of a tradition. I like started this tradition of ours to eat Indian inspired food on the fourth. I don't know where I came up with that, but that's what we do. Let me tell you guys, I started cooking at like 11. We didn't eat till like 8 PM and you guys, I made it way too spicy. I really made it way too spicy. I have a bunch of leftovers, but I'm not touching those. Mm -mm. Nope. Andres is eating them, my boyfriend. So yeah, he will, Um, he's eating them at work today. <laughs> and I'm eating a salad. I made them way too spicy. I don't know, it just wasn't as good as it was last year. I don't know what I did differently. I'm kind of sad because I like spent so much time on it. But that's okay. I still had like a good day. I was like watching YouTube and like making food and stuff. Oh, whatever. But that being said, I had all that spicy food and then last night I ordered um a pizza from Blaze and they didn't have vegan cheese for some reason so I got no cheese but my stomach was like gurgling and stuff having some like digestive digestion issues it, it would seem so I'm like F no I'm not gonna like eat that spicy ass food that I made <laughs> I'm telling you guys I'm telling you, okay? When I go out to eat, when I go out to eat and they're like, 
What spice level do you want? I always say seven. Sometimes I say eight. This food would have definitely been like an 11. I made it with this spicy. Oh, lesson learned. Anyway. The problem, I like spicy food, but the problem is I'm trying to be like more of an adult. And I have GERD and I shouldn't be eating any of anything spicy at all anyway. But like, I didn't want to get heartburn. <laughs> I still don't want to get heartburn. So like, didn't eat a lot of it. You know, if you have like spicy and garlicky and oniony and oily things, like you're more likely to get that stuff. So, what can you do? You know, what can you do? That must be pretty. Here's Gertie. She had a doctor's appointment over the weekend to meet you. <laughs> She's okay. She's doing okay. Yeah, the doctor's not worried. They did find, um, oh, I guess I'll just tell you. They found a hernia. So she has a little bump on her little belly. I don't think you could see it here. You okay? But, um, it's a small hernia, so he's not, he said he's not worried about it. The vet said he's not worried about it. So, um, have you guys seen her since she got her haircut last weekend? Um, so he said, unless it gets like, he said to just watch it. Like if it gets like swollen or red, you know, anything unusual looking on the outside, then to take her in. But, oh, poor baby. I love my baby. But they didn't even charge me. That, that is so nice like what that it was like a scheduled appointment and he's like mm, complimentary 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 exam you can go and i was like okay sure and i can call him all the time and it's free to call him and like talk to him on the phone without having to bring her in this is a great vet i'm really grateful for him you okay did you guys hear that she was like hmm. yeah so how are you guys um, what do I have coming up? I have some exciting stuff coming up. You okay? You burped? I think I'm going to put her down. She's, she's yawning. Do you guys know when dogs like yawn? When dogs are yawning and licking, that means they're nervous. Oh, she did not have a fun time this weekend. Let me just say that. Fuck fireworks. Honestly, wow. I'm not going to get into that. That could be a separate video. So annoyed. But, um. Oh, so. My BFF. Impromptu dance party. I like this shirt because I feel like Sarah Connor in it. Sarah Connor. So she she wears a shirt like this, right? I feel like she wears like a look like a tank top with big arms. And T2. Ever heard of it? Little little Gen Zers. I think most of the people who watch my channel are millennials. Um, but yeah, Shayla was like all on top of all my references in the last video, so <laughs> hey girl. Um anyway, what was I talking about before I went off on Sarah Connor? Oh, my BFF Joey is coming to visit. If you guys have watched my channel, you know who he is. I've done many videos with him. Um, we used to do like Vine together back in the day. Um, yeah, so he's coming down to San Diego. Unfortunately, I don't have any time off because I started a new job um, at the end of March. So... But that's okay. So I'm just gonna work. And him and Andres, my boyfriend, are gonna go have adventures together. And then, like during the day and stuff, while I'm working, they're gonna go do stuff. And then um, on the weekends and when I'm off work at night, we're gonna all hang out. I'm so stoked too, because the pool is open. And previously the pool had been closed, like hard closed, like no one was allowed. And then eventually they opened it up um, with reservations, but only to guests. If you weren't on the leash, you couldn't go. 
but recently they opened it up no reservations and no rules about guests so i'm gonna be going to the pool like every day oh yeah <laughs> so i'm stoked about that honestly i'm feeling really good there's some stuff that i'm working on like i had this moment i had a great i had a great moment this weekend i'm not gonna should i tell you why mm. basically yeah i had a good moment this weekend um i won't say exactly what because i just don't want to share too much but like basically basically some research i was doing led me to discover something that gave me a deadline and a goal for my writing I've been working on a really cool project. Um, I've been working on something I'm really excited for. And it's really for me. Um, but then this thing that I found gave me kind of like a cool deadline and gave me like fire under my belly. So I did a lot of writing this weekend. I did a lot of reading. I'm 60% through with Malibu Rising. It's getting good. Okay, don't tell me, but well, no, I won't spoil it for anyone else. I was going to ask a question, but I'm excited to finish it. Hopefully I finish it this week. Maybe I'll finish it before Joey gets here. I don't know. But, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. So, that's the story, Morning Glory. I don't have much to say. I feel good. I feel happy. I feel happy with my life. Made a doctor's appointment for August, which I'm excited for because mm, having health anxiety really sucks. But I feel like, yeah, so I'm setting up like new care with a new doctor with a new insurance and stuff like that. And I'm excited to do like all the general, like yearly and like, like all the things that you need to do. That way I can do all of them and then hopefully trust that if there was anything wrong, they would find it in those times. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, well, let me just short kind of video here. I'm gonna finish my salad. I don't think you guys wanna just like listen to me eat my salad, but I'm feeling good. Feeling happy. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, um, do you guys wanna see Joey? when he's here if you want to see joey on the vlog comment down below because then i'll show him that you guys want to see him in a vlog and i'll put him in some vlogs while he's down here he's gonna be here for like a week i'm so bummed that i can't like spend more time with him but it's okay all right that's the story morning glory Reminder that I'm taking a social media break. I did post two things over the weekend, but I really have felt really good about like, it's been really hard at first, but social media, I'm not trying to be a boomer, but it really poisons my brain. There are infinitely more things I would rather be doing than scrolling on Instagram. And I do feel a sense, not to go on a soapbox here, but I do feel a sense of like, shit that sucks like some me not really being on social media i feel the distance from certain people because i'm not keeping up with them but it's just because i'm not on social and it makes me sad but like if you want to be around me right now if you want to talk to me you need to call me or text me or something or hang out with me on youtube i don't know youtube doesn't really count for me for some reason i freaking love cabbage i think we've talked about this <laughs> okay guys um thanks for watching if you watch this far hmm if you watch this far put a lemon emoji a lemon emoji and another yellow emoji that you like in the comments below um thank you thank you thank you for watching i'm so grateful for each every little view that i see on this channel every comment 
I love you guys. Remember to always be kind to animals. Adopt, don't shop. Never, ever, ever, ever buy dogs. There's never an excuse to buy dogs. Just this morning, I saw a bunch of French Bulldogs on French Bulldogs on Petfinder, which is an app that, that like shelters and rescues use. So you can get any kind of dog you want from a shelter or a rescue. You don't have to go buy them. Um, so yeah, adopt and shop, be kind of animals, save the whales, fuck sea world. I don't know, talk to you guys later. Catch you on the flippity flip. Bye.